Back in the House of Commons after a two-week recess, the opposition demanded the government do something to end the CP rail work stoppage. So what is the government's plan to immediately resolve this dispute? Several industry groups representing CP Rail's biggest customers, well, they had the answer. This is very time sensitive, hours matter, and we are urging MPs and senators to address this through back to work legislation. But the Trudeau government for now is trusting both sides to reach a deal. They are working hard. No one has left the table. Our party believes that the best deals are reached at the table. In any event, back to work legislation could run into an NDP hurdle in the House of Commons. In 2011, the NDP led by Jack Layton led a three day long filibuster against back to work legislation during a Canada Post strike. You can count on us to, to oppose uh, back to work legislation again. Meanwhile, experts warn a lengthy rail service disruption would almost certainly cause food prices to spike and might even cause food shortages later in the year. That's because those idled rail cars are normally carrying fertilizer for crops, which will soon be planted. All eyes are on North America to deliver, to help out uh, from a global food security perspective. Uh, And you have to think about fertilizers, uh, agricultural output later this year. Uh, So there's lots going on here. Other rail cars would be filled with feed for hungry Western Canada cattle. This could be the most devastating thing that we've seen, and it's human caused. And from our point of view, it's very easy for humans to fix this problem. And we, as everybody here said, we don't have a lot of time. And even if this CP work stoppage ended after four or five days, consider this. In 2018, CN Rail had a work stoppage. It lasted eight days, but it took six weeks to get supply chains back to normal. Jackson. David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.